The point is... No, no, no. You said there are. No, no, Can you state relevant I'm sections? Say, you know, it, it, Can look, you state relevant sections of the Constitution look, or even of the CCT Act? CCT, yeah. under the Constitution, has the power to try any public officer, including Judicial the officer is not a public listen officer. Listen to me. Let, 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 Judicial let, officer okay, is not a public okay, officer. Okay, no, no, we'll no. take that up, but let, let, let me There is nothing that excludes judicial officer when he contravenes the provision of code yeah, but of conduct. Is a judicial officer a public officer? Yes, so to say. Because no, no. As, for the purpose, as far as code of conduct uh, is concerned, that every public officer, well, including well, judicial officer... I say in some cases, a judicial officer is a public officer, and in some cases, a judicial officer is not a public officer. No, no, no. G get the point. That, look, it is not the issue of whether a judicial officer or not. Now, the code of conduct tribunal has power. Once a, an officer, whether judicial or non-judicial officer, that contravenes any of the provision of the Code of Conduct Act. Okay, let me okay. take you back one, to yes. one question I will yeah. ask. No, one, just no, a one single question. You will. Is a president, yeah, let governor, me. deputy governor, and this not a public officer? Are they not a public officer? Can the tribunal try them while in office? Well, the no, president, no. the case, vice president, the governor, the deputy governor, yeah, but are they I not public officers? Let me tell you something. Can let me they? tell you something. To me, to my mind, if you look at carefully the constitution, actually, even the president, the, the governor, the vice governor, should not be under any uh, immunity once it is the issue of but they are. code of conduct. No, well, they, no, they uh, are at the moment. There is, there is no uh, any attempt to try to at least even test the laws. That to me, the, by virtue of the entire, if you read the entire constitution, the word is end. It does not in any way imply that uh, governor, even the governor, even the president or the vice president or whoever, under the code of conduct that he should be... Okay, but Dr. Lee, let me take you back to this matter, yes, because I yes. think it's fundamental to what we're talking about. Yes. Look, if, because you said you were there as well, yeah. if the court adjourned on the, met on the 22nd, adjourned up until today, yes. how is it valid then that they acquired this expertise? The, the, the question about validity and the procedure, how did they acquire that? Is it valid? That's what lots of people... As far as I'm concerned, it is valid. Because, one... The, 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 the order, has, uh, there's a pending uh, motion so expert. where did they sit to uh, get this expert? Sorry? How did they sit? You, get, you, 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 you can get... Uh, did they sit in an open court? You can sit in or an open chambers? court. chambers? Listen to me. I would not know that whether it is in an open court or in chambers. But you can well, most attempts... No, what's the, what's the legal procedure? Your lawyer, what's the procedure to get in an expert order? You know, getting an expert order, at times, you get it in court, in an open court, mm -hmm. and sometimes in chambers. It is you very, very... It's known all over. So how, did, how was this one got? I wouldn't know. I'm not part of the, I'm not the prosecution. So how would I know? Now ask the prosecution, then they will tell you. Or if they are privy, let them say it. But as far as I know, that an order has been given, and it's quite unfair to say that Mr. President knows that uh, the CCT has no jurisdiction. Look, Mr. President is not a lawyer. So he can't, what, even if he's a lawyer, he's what, under duty. You can tell us then, mm. uh, what is the essence of an expertise order? Essence of an expertise order is when there is an emergency then you may run to court and say, look, there is a situation that I need to be protected. Let me give you an example. Where are these orders being dished out? Sorry, just a minute. I get that explanation. But in this particular case, yes. is there an emergency? Yes. There are. What, what's the emergency? Let me tell you. You got orders from industrial court. You got orders from federal court. People are dishing out orders. Now, people look, or courts? Courts. I mean, courts. Sorry. <coughs> courts are, are dishing out orders. Are, now, they not, are they not valid? Sorry? Are they not valid? They are valid. Why wouldn't the order of the CCT be valid also? It, look, let me tell you something. You see, it is for the fact that the place that the CJN is occupying, that is why all these orders were coming out. How can it be fair, somebody who heads the court, who chairs the body that disciplines, promotes you, and then there is a case against him, and then expect people without undue influence to just do justice. I doubt. So what have that you done so to Section 292? What I'm trying to say is... What then do you do to say about uh, Section 292 of the Constitution? No, 292 is inapplicable in this situation. How? 292 is referring to a situation whereby a CJN will be removed from office. And then, if it is the issue of removal... How? It how, now would you, stated, how would you remove him? Sorry? How would you remove him? Either he misconduct himself... No, and how? Then, I mean, what's the process of removing him? When, when you want to remove him, that's that the president will now sent the, when that is, he has uh, contravened any of the provisions or he has misconducted himself, then the president will not initiate by sending the, 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 the report to the, uh, uh, the, the Senate. 
then two thirds of the Senate will now okay. vote. But that comes after ignition of section 153. That comes after ignition Which section of section 153? 153, read together Which? with part two, part one of uh, schedule, th th third schedule, where the NJC, first of all, looks into the, into, into the matter, and then where they found it necessary, recommend to the, to, the, to the president. I want to let you know something. If you want to try a general, what do you do first of all do? A general, an army general, what do you first of all do? You send him to the room. You send him to the room. First of all, remove that order of a general, and then bring him as an ordinary person to the court martial. What do you do if you want to try a bishop? What do you do? You first of all remove the rope and remove him from the, the embodiment of the diocese. And then he becomes an ordinary man. Then you try him. The, the, so in a, this case? In this case, a judge. A judge moving into the aura, with the aura of a judge, judge into the dock. No. The constitution said no. What you first of all do? Send him to that appropriate body. That's the NJC. This law is made for us. Without this law, we don't have any future. I beg to disagree. And I beg NJC, to disagree. I am quoting the law, please. Section 153, read together with subsection, read together with subsection part, part one of Schedule 3. Particularly paragraph 21, which gives, recommend, that the NJC should recommend for the remover or appointment. That is the constitution. And then you now look at what you, what you pointed at now, section 292. What did it say? That you can, after this, NGC has finished its work. And it now is a matter of haste of the court. Haste of court, now the president would send it to the Senate for heads of court of the federal court. Yeah. If it's heads of court of first state, he will send it to the House of Assembly. And then with two thirds, you'll be removed. There's after the mover, two. Excuse no, me. Just, just after the mover, after the mover, if it has something to do with conduct, you now go back to the schedule, fifth, the fifth schedule, but one of the fifth schedule, which tells you that when you, 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 did, you commit, if you had committed anything in misconduct, misconduct, not even crime, the tribunal has no right to try crime. It's only misconduct. Okay. It was at that stage, a judicial officer is no longer a judicial officer, but he committed offense while he was a judicial officer. But he's no longer a judicial officer, having been removed from office. He cannot go to that tribunal. It is only at that stage that a judicial officer can come in. But he's no longer a judicial officer because the constitution was not sleeping when it defined a judicial officer and defined a public officer. It's not sleeping. And if you look at all the places it is to try, there's nowhere a judicial officer is consigned, except the paragraph saying that the president and the, and the vice president and the, and the CGN cannot occupy, cannot take employment in a foreign company. That's all. Dr. Ali, yes. while responding, also yes. cited relevant section of the law mm. so that we can refer to it in your defense. Go ahead. Yes. You see, let me tell you something. When you uh, go through the section 153 that they're talking, that established the federal uh, uh, body, executive bodies. Now, it's listed bodies. And it started with CCB. And then, at, I think, the number nine, that's the NGC. Now, the, the, the point is that if you go to section 158 of the Constitution, yeah. which talks about the power of certain bodies that it says when they are dealing in dealing with that issue of discipline, appointment, that they shall not uh, re, I mean, refer or be interfered by anybody. Good. Now the point is like, code of conduct is there. NJC is there. Now where it is the issue of judicial misconduct, then it means nobody will interfere into that issue. Now, as we are talking now, if you look at the judicial regulation, uh, discipline of, uh, of judicial uh, officers now, as it is, nobody, nobody on earth can even try the CGL. He cannot be tried under no, the... No, no, no. How do you yes. mean yes. nobody on earth can try? That's no, not correct. No, 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 there's a... Pro I it's understand. correct. I understand. It's, no, no, there a process. I understand that there's a process to even try.
Really? There is a process to try everybody in this country. No, the president. it's a process. I will tell you there is it's no process. It's enshrined in the Constitution. As far as this are you is denying that there, is a, there are relevant sections in the, in the Constitution mm -hmm. that allow yeah, yeah. any officer, any in, person, in the, including in, the president in, of this country, to you be see, tried? There is, there is a judicial um, regulation for discipline of, uh, of uh, judicial officers. Mm -hmm. Now, it stipulates in 2004, there was one. In 2017, the current CGN revoked it and then made a new one. And then the new one made it impossible, impossible for him to be even taken before the NGC. If I read uh, 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 the, the provision of uh, Order 20, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. it says com composition of investigation, com investigating committee. One, an investigating committee shall be composed of not less than three and not more than five members of the council. Subsection 3 is the, where I'm going. It says, the chairman of the investigating committee must be a higher judicial rank than the, uh, than, the subject, uh, than the subject of the disciplinary proceedings. And the member of the committee, whether serving or retired judicial uh, officer, may be or of higher or, uh, judicial rank than the subject of the disciplinary proceedings or the same uh, judicial rank. Now, what this uh, uh, order is saying, Look, if you want to try anybody, if somebody is taken before JSC, NGC, and then you need to set up a committee to investigate his conduct, that the person who is going to chair the committee must be a member of that JSC and must be of the same rank or above him. Now, mind you, under paragraph 20 of the third schedule, it prohibits retired CJNs from so being members of that. CGN so it means CJN cannot be no, no. investigated by that committee. Okay. As far as the I order think, is concerned. I think, I think... Is yes. that the case? No, first, is that the case? No, 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 no. That it's the very CGN clear. cannot excuse be me, investigated me, by that same committee. It's very excuse clear. Me. It is very excuse clear. Excuse me. Okay, respond to that. One. Of course, you already see what is going on. It's already in the paper. Oh, NJC is going to sit on oh, no. Anko will not be there. That's the way it's done. If you are having a matter, you step aside. You step aside. That is not the case, yeah. So? That is no what? No, this, no, this, rule, this rule, this rule is. It is made by, all by, by the this rule, rule. This just rule, just Of course, uh, if the quality says, reading of the okay. whole thing. Just hold on, we need to go to break. We'll come back and you continue in just a moment. Don't go away.